Mexico a land of pyramids and plazas, tacos and traditions, but behind its colorful culture lies something even more intricate the people. Who are Mexicans, really? What makes up their identity? And how did history, migration, and DNA shape them into what they are today? Let's explore the genetic tapestry of Mexico and what it means to be Mexican. To understand modern Mexico, we have to go back. Long before the Spanish conquest, Mesoamerica was home to some of the world's most advanced indigenous civilizations like the Maya and the Yucatan, the Zapotecs in Oaxaca, and the mighty Aztecs in central Mexico. These weren't isolated tribes. They had cities, calendars, languages, and empires. Their descendants still live in Mexico today and are a crucial part of its population and identity. But in the early 1500s, everything changed. Spanish conquistadors arrived, bringing war, disease, and intermarriage. From this contact, a new identity was born. Mestizo, people of mixed indigenous and European descent. This group would eventually become the majority. A groundbreaking 2008 study by the University of Brasilia gives us a window into Mexico's genetic makeup. The average Mexican, according to the research, is about 60.1% Native American, 29.8% European, and 10.1% African. That's a lot more indigenous ancestry than most people expect. In fact, despite the colonial legacy, the majority of Mexico's DNA is still Native American, especially in southern and central regions. The European ancestry mostly comes from Spain, but it's not just conquistadors. Some Mexicans also descend from French, Irish, German, and Italian immigrants who arrived in later centuries. The African percentage might seem small, but it matters. Tens of thousands of enslaved Africans were brought to Mexico during the colonial era, especially to areas like Veracruz and Guerrero. Their genetic and cultural legacy still exists today. And interestingly, some Mexicans also have trace amounts of Asian ancestry, particularly from Chinese and Filipino workers who arrived during the colonial galleon trade era. Let's break down the major ethnic groups in Mexico today. Mestizos, people of mixed indigenous and European ancestry. They make up around 62% of the population and are the cultural majority. Indigenous peoples, or Pueblos Originarios, account for around 21%. There are over 60 officially recognized indigenous groups, including the Nahua, Maya, Zapotec, Mistec, and Otomi. Many still speak their ancestral languages. White Mexicans, or those of mostly European descent, make up about 10%. You'll often find higher concentrations in parts of northern Mexico in cities like Guadalajara and Monterrey. Afro-Mexicans make up about 1.5 to 2% of the population. They're found mostly in coastal regions like Oaxaca, Guerrero, and Veracruz. Asian Mexicans, particularly of Chinese and Filipino origin, form a small but visible community, especially in places like Mexicali and parts of Mexico City. Mexicans don't look just one way, and that's part of the beauty. In southern Mexico, especially in Oaxaca and Chiapas, many people have predominantly indigenous features, such as bronze brown skin, straight black hair, and almond-shaped eyes. In central and northern Mexico, the mestizo population shows more variation, some lean more indigenous, others more European. You might see light olive skin, dark brown or hazel eyes, and even wavy hair. White Mexicans often resemble southern Europeans with lighter skin, straight or wavy hair, and narrower facial features. Meanwhile, in Afro-Mexican regions, phenotypes include darker skin tones, tightly curled hair, and facial features reflecting sub-Saharan ancestry. The variety of Mexican appearances is a direct reflection of its genetic and historical diversity. Two people can both be 100% Mexican yet look entirely different and both are equally valid. Representations of Mexican identity. Mexican culture itself is a living expression of this admixture. From the indigenous influence in cuisine think tamales, maize, and mole to Spanish. Colonial architecture and Catholic traditions. African rhythms influenced regional music styles like sun jaracho. Even Filipino and Chinese trade brought foods and customs into the mix. Languages also reflect diversity. While Spanish is the national language, over 7 million people in Mexico still speak an indigenous language. The Dia de los Muertos holiday, with its skulls and altars, blends pre-Hispanic rituals with Catholic ideas a true fusion of worlds. So what does it mean to be Mexican today? It's not about one race or one look. Mexican identity is multi-ethnic by definition. It includes people with mostly native ancestry and hair, those with African hair, people of European descent, and everyone in between. From Chiapas to Chihuahua, from Oaxaca to Sinaloa, each region tells a different story. But, together, they make up the mosaic of what it means to be Mexican. Mexico isn't just a country. It's a genetic archive, a cultural crossroads, and a nation where the past still pulses in the present. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Mexico's people, subscribe for more ethnic explorations. Around the world hit like and share your thoughts in the comments, and let us know which country should we explore next. See you next time.